There are five more children in Ms. Brown's room than in Mr. White's room. Ten children move from Ms. Brown's room to Mr. White's room. Now there are twice as many children in Mr. White's room as in Ms. Brown's room. How many children were in Ms. Brown's room before the move? We will solve this problem algebraically and in order to solve the problem algebraically we have to define the variables. So let's go ahead and do that and it's something we need to do very carefully. So the very first line of the question says there are five more children in Ms. Brown's room than in Mr. White's room. So if Mr. White's room had X children, Ms. Brown's room must have had X plus five children originally. Okay, so we're going to construct a table. Okay, then what happens? This is what happens. Ten children move from Ms. Brown's room to Mr. White's room. So what happens is you subtract the new scenario. This is the original scenario and the new scenario is you subtract 10 from here and add 10 to this because 10 children move from Ms. Brown's room to Mr. White's room. So I subtract to get the new scenario I subtracted 10 from x plus 5 and I got this and then I added 10 to x and I got this. And on the next slide, I just did my math here. So let's go back. I had 5 minus 10, and 5 minus 10 is minus 5, so I'm just going to write minus 5. So now I have the original scenario in both classes and the new scenario in both classes. Let's read the question once again. Now there are twice as many children in Mr. White's room as in Ms. Brown's room. So, the first question I'm going to ask is which classroom has more students? Mr. White's classroom has more students. The question says that and you can also see it from here. It's 10 more than x and Ms. Brown is 10 x, uh, 5 less than x. So Mr. White's classroom has more children. Also says that Mr. White's classroom has two times as many children as in Ms. Brown's classroom. What does that really mean? Now this is what it means. So the new scenario is Miss, Mr. White's classroom has twice as many children as Ms. Brown. Now sometimes students make a mistake and they flip these two expressions. Here they write x minus 5 and here they write x plus 10. That would be incorrect. A couple of ways to look at it. You can say Mr. White is 2 times Ms. Brown. That's exactly what this line says right here. Or you can say the larger number is 2 times the smaller number. So you have to learn to keep it straight. All we need to do now is to solve this equation for x. And let's go ahead and do it. So what I did here is I distributed 2 over x minus 5. I got 2x minus 10. And I subtracted 2x from both sides. I have minus 2x and 2x goes away. I subtracted 10 from both sides. I have plus 10 goes away and I have a minus 10 here and this minus 10 is right here and x minus 2x is minus x minus 10 minus uh, 10 is minus 20 so x is 20 so x is 20 but we are not quite done the question says how many children were in Mrs. Brown, Ms. Brown's room before the move so this is what the question wants question wants us to find this so eventually we have to plug in 20 here and the answer should be 25. So if if x is 20 you plug in x on the table in the right place original uh, number of students in Ms. Brown's classroom that turns out to be 25. So that's your answer 25.